The stress-strain relations. The strain normally refers to the deformations of a member, while the stress is normally associated with the force acting on the member. When there is a load acting on a member, the member tends to undergo deformations. These deformations is represented by the strain, and due to the load, stress develops within the member, and this stress is associated to the magnitude of the forces acting on the member. The load acting on the structures cause distortions of each member. These distortions can be represented by the strand diagram given here. When the member is subjected to bending, the compression strength develops on top of the neutral axis while tensile strength develops below the neutral axis. And this strength can later be translated into the stress diagram. Whenever there are strain, stresses also develop. This figure indicates a response of a cross sections of the member subjected to deformations and the stresses due to the forces. In the analysis of the stresses, it is built on the basis that the equilibrium of forces and the compatibility of the strength. The equilibrium of forces referring to the total forces in horizontal or total moment rotational forces should be equal to zero for a member to remain static and stable. As for the compatibility of strength, it is normally assumed a linear relationship of the strength throughout the cross sections and for that interpolation is applicable to determine the strength at different positions of the cross sections. This lays the foundations for the analysis of the stress developed in the member for the design of reinforced concrete member.